Hello there, my name's Gary Sims, and this is Gary Explains. Now, if you are kind of interested in micro uh, controller boards and embedded stuff, you've probably heard of the Blue Pill. Now, the Blue Pill is a very, very simple board, doesn't cost very much money, generally manufactured in China using an STM32 range of chips uh, with the Cortex uh, M3 uh, processor. ST, in fact, is a uh, Italian French company uh, headquarters in Geneva with some connections with Holland and all, and all over the place. Basically, it makes uh, microcontroller chips and they found their way into these blue pill and they're really, really uh, quite cheap. Now, also in the STM32 range, there are quite a huge number of chips STM, ST, Microelectronics 32, 32-bit. 32 uh, uh, Cortex uh, microcontroller boards. There is the Cortex M4 set of boards. That's called the F411. I'm not going to go into the naming now. And that made its way into something called the Black Pill to distinguish it from uh, the Blue Pill. And I did a review here on this channel quite a while back about comparing the Blue Pill and the Black Pill. Now, the great advantage of the Blue Pill and the Black Pill is their cost. They really do cost two, three, four dollars depending on where you pick them up and at what time according to demand and so on. However, their big disadvantage is that they are made in China. And for me, here in Europe, to get hold of one, I have to order it and then wait maybe three or four weeks for it to arrive. And then there's all the worry about it being manufactured in China. Is it going to be using a genuine STM chip or is it going to be using a clone chip? Are the components any good quality? What do I do if I need to return it? There's a whole bunch of problems. Now, normally for two, three dollars, it's kind of a risk you take. If it doesn't turn out well, you buy another one from a different store. But here's the thing. There's a company here now in Europe that are manufacturing black pill clone chips and you can buy them in Europe. And you don't have to wait <laughs> three weeks for them to come. You've actually got someone you can talk to and say, look, this didn't work, send me another one. And they're available now. And so in this video, I wanna look at the uh, black pill board made here in Europe. Well, that was quite a long uh, introduction, but if you wanna find out more, please, let me explain. Okay, so here is the uh, little uh, black pill clone. Here it's called the uh, Magma Splash, and it's manufactured by Ground Studio, and then sold by a company called Ardu Shop, as in Ar Arduino Shop. And we'll talk more about the company that sell them in a minute. Now, this really is a, an identical copy of the standard black pill that you get kind of from uh, AliExpress with a few important differences. So let's have a quick tour of the board and see what it's about. So here in the very middle, we've got, of course, the Cortex M4 STM32 chip that's running at 100 uh, megahertz. And then you've obviously got all the uh, pins down the side. And this one's actually nice. because It's got all the pins printed on them so we know what they are. You've got a boot button and a reset button. And we'll talk more about those uh, in a minute. Uh, and you've also got here a user button. And then of course you've got an, an LED and you've got a little uh, I squared C connector here. It's often called a, a, a stem or QT connector, which is very easy for connecting up uh, little uh, sensors and things. It's just a standard connector. You don't have to wire it up with any soldering and it's USB-C. Uh, and that's a great thing there. And if you notice here between the two buttons, there's actually a little pad here where you can solder additional uh, external uh, flash. I think up to two megabytes is supported. You just kind of, if your soldering skills are up to it, you can dab it onto there. And then you can access that, of course, from within inside of the software. Now, talking of software, there are several different ways to program the black pill. Probably the easiest and the way that I've certainly been using it recently is using the Arduino. There is basically an STM32 ecosystem for Arduino and you type in the right uh, URL. There's instructions on the Arduino website. In fact, there's instructions about this all over the internet, how you get a black pill and a blue pill or any STM32 chip working in uh, Arduino. You put it in as one of the board packages. You can select the board, the right board, the right board type and all that from the Arduino menu. And then you just program it like an Arduino and I've been doing that and it works absolutely perfect. Now, there are three ways to actually physically program the flash on the black pill. One is using the DFU, Direct Firmware Update System, that comes from ST, uh, STM Microelectronics. Another is using a serial port programmer like the FTDI type ones, and I show that in my blue pill versus black pill uh, video. And the third way is using an ST-Link 
uh, programmer. Now the ST Links programmers are pretty cheap. You can pick them up for just a few uh, euros. Using the FTDI uh, version is also pretty easy. The DFU version is what they try to promote on the uh, website for this device. You just need to plug in the USB-C and program it like you would any other kind of you know, Arduino device. The problem is, and this is really interesting, the problem is, is that the black pill finds it really hard to connect as a USB device to your PC. At first I thought it was my PC. I you tried it on a whole fresh install of Windows with no other complicated USB drivers on it, nothing to get itself upset about, and it still doesn't work. It turns out that when you put it into boot mode to program over USB, it relies on a clock on the chip to start talking over USB. And if that's got out uh, outside of its 1% tolerance of heat, so if it's like a couple of degrees warmer, then it won't program and you get unknown USB device coming up. And I've been struggling with this and sometimes I can get it to come up as a device and I program it through the Arduino, but most of the time, and I mean like nine times out of 10, I can't get it to come up at all. So I actually switched to using the uh, FTDI uh, ver version of programming, as I showed, as I said, in that other video. I've also tried it with the, the ST-Link. One thing to know about the ST-Link is the way the pins are normally, they're at the back thin end of the board pointing outwards. Here they're on they're the other 90 degrees turned around, so you have to be careful which way you put your header will mean which way the ground and the positive pin, are they on the left or the right or the right or the left? Just watch that. Uh, when you're wiring up the uh, ST-Link way of doing it. But if you can get to program it, you can use the uh, Arduino. You're gonna need to use the STM32 Cube programmer, and you can get that from uh, ST Electronics website. Now you can also use Platform IO, and I've got a video here on this channel about Platform IO if you wanna give it a, tr a try, that's really, really good. And you can actually use uh, ST Electronics own SDK, which is called uh, Cube IDE, uh, which allows you to use their uh, API calls to actually directly control the chip, all the registers and the GPIO and the clocks and all that kind of stuff using their system. So quite versatile and it can be used in many, many different ways. As I said, you'll probably get the most quicker success using uh, the Arduino. So as I said, this is sold in Europe from a company called Ardu Shop. They are actually in Romania and they ship locally in Romania for a very, very reasonable price, just one or two euros, including all the shipping. And so you can get hold of one of these boards for not a bad price. And the boards themselves are actually more expensive than the ones you get from China, but that's to be expected because they are manufactured here in Europe and packaged and sold from here inside of Europe. Now the company does also ship all over uh, the European Union. Uh, unfortunately, that shipping can be a bit expensive. When I last looked, actually, it's like could be 20 euros. So you buy a 10 euro board and spend 20 euros in shipping. Now I have sent a message to Ardu Shop and said, look, is there any other way if any of my viewers want to get this, you know, and they're prepared to wait for, you know, normal, normal postage, you know, five or six days for it to get to them, uh, do they offer that? When I get a result, I will put that in the description and maybe in a, a pinned comment. So watch out for any news on getting cheaper shipping. Otherwise, if you're sh getting lots of boards, for example, maybe then paying that uh, higher shipping price will be worthwhile if you buy quite a few of them in one go. It's not only the black pill they have, they have a whole range of other boards that are also uh, made uh, here in Romania by Ground Studio. And in fact, I've just ordered a, uh, a, a ESP32 board because I want to do a similar video like this one, say about an ESP32 board that you don't have to buy from China. And I think that's quite uh, a good idea as well. I'm also doing a video about the performance differences between the Cortex-M0, the Cortex-M3, the Cortex-M4, the ESP32, and I'm waiting for a RISC-V microcontroller board to arrive as well, because I think that would be quite a good video about performance and also power consumption, so stay tuned for that. In fact, if you do want to watch videos like that, I do highly recommend that you subscribe to the channel. Okay, that's it. My name's Gary Sims. This is Gary Explains. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. You can also follow me on Twitter at Gary Explains, and I also have a monthly newsletter. Go over to GaryExplains.com, type in your email address, no spam, no spam, but you will get the newsletter. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.